Hello viewers, I am Deepthi. In physics, most of the time we need experimental studies which involve measurement. For measurement, we need a physical quantity and expression of a physical quantity needs its numerical value and unit. Today we are going to talk about two types of units which are fundamental units and derived units. Fundamental or basic units are those which are independent of any other unit, which can neither be changed nor be related to any other fundamental unit. Nowadays, we are using SI system of unit, which is the enlarged and modified version of MKS system. First physical quantity is length, its unit is meter and symbol is small m. Mass is next physical quantity, its SI unit is kilogram written as kg. Time is next physical quantity, its SI unit is second and S. You may summarize them as M, K and S. M for meter, which is a unit of length, K for kg, which is a unit of mass and S for second, which is a unit of time. Other physical quantity is temperature, its unit is Kelvin. Next physical quantity is luminous intensity, its unit is candela, written as CD. Electric current, its unit is ampere A. Amount of substance, its unit is mole. And two complementary fundamental units are angle, its unit is radian. And solid angle, its unit is G radian. Derived units are those which depend on the fundamental units and which can be expressed in terms of any other fundamental unit. First of all, starting from the simplest one which is the area. And its definition is, it is a product of length and breadth. We know the unit of length is meter and the unit of breadth is also meter. So its SI unit is meter square, abbreviated as meter square. Now volume, it is the product of length, breadth and height. It means meter into meter into meter. It means meter cube. Now density is the ratio of mass per unit volume. What is the SI unit of mass? It is kilogram and unit of volume is meter cube. So, abbreviation is kg per meter cube. Speed or velocity, its definition is it is distance per unit time, distance covered per unit time. SI unit of distance is meter and SI unit of time is second. So, meter per second. We can either write as meter per second or meter per second. We cannot write like this. It is a wrong one. Now acceleration, it is velocity per unit time. It means well, SI unit of velocity is meter per second and then time is again second. So its SI unit is meter per second square minus 2. Next important physical quantity is force and its definition is mass into acceleration. Now SI unit of mass is kg and acceleration is meter per second square. Its SI unit is Newton. So force is said to be 1 Newton when it displaces a body of mass 1 kg and produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in it. And we can write as Newton, either capital N or small full Newton you can write. Next physical quantity is work or energy. Its definition is force into displacement. As a unit of force is kg meter per second square and displacement is again meter. So it means kg meter square per second square and it is written as zool or you can write J. Now work is said to be 1 Zool when a force of 1 Newton displaces a body through a distance of 1 meter in its own direction. Then work is said to be 1 Zool. Next physical quantity is momentum and its definition it is the product of mass and velocity. As a unit of mass is kilogram and as a unit of velocity is meter per second. It means it is kg meter per second. 
or you can write it as newton second so its abbreviation is you can write either kg meter per second or newton second next is moment of force or torque its definition is it is the product of force and distance as a unit of force is kg meter per second square multiply by distance it means meter so kg meter square per second square or you can write it as newton meter so its abbreviation is either kg meter square per second square or newton meter next physical quantity is power and its definition it, it is the rate of doing work it means work divided by time as a unit of work is kg meter square per second square and divided by as a unit of time which is again second so it means kg meter square per second cube and as a unit of work is also joule and time is second so it is joule per second and si unit of power is watt or you can write w so power is said to be 1 watt when a 1 joule of work is done in 1 second then power is said to be 1 watt so you can write it as joule per second or watt either capital alphabet w or watt complete word watt Next physical quantity is pressure and its definition is thrust per unit area or you can write it as force per unit area. As a unit of force is kg meter per second square and area is meter square. So it's kg minus 1 meter 1 minus and s minus 2. So kg per meter per second square or you can write it as newton per meter square. And its SI unit is Pascal. So, abbreviation is Newton per meter square or Pascal. So, pressure is said to be 1 Pascal when it acts on an area of 1 meter square by a force of 1 Newton acting perpendicular to it. Next physical quantity is frequency. It is the reciprocal of time period. So, what is the unit of time period? It is second. So, it is 1 upon second. Or you can write it as S minus 1. And SI unit of frequency is Hertz. H-E-R-T-Z. Or you can write it as H-Z. So, number of cycles completed in 1 second is known as frequency. Its SI unit is Hertz. Next physical quantity is electric charge. And according to its definition, it is the product of current and time. As we know, the SI unit of current is ampere. And SI unit of time is second. So, it means ampere into second is its SI unit and we will write it as coulomb, C-O-U-L-O-M-B. So, abbreviation is ampere second or coulomb, capital C. Now, next is electric potential or electromotive force. So, you can write EMF. It is the division of work with charge. So, work divided by charge. SI unit of work is kg meter square per second square and SI unit of charge is ampere second. So, overall unit is kg meter square per ampere and per second cube. We can write it as joule per coulomb or volt. So, abbreviation is joule per coulomb or volt. According to its definition, potential difference between two points is said to be 1 volt. If work done in transferring one coulomb of charge from one point to another is 1 joule. Now, next is electric resistance. So, it is the division of potential with current. Now, potential divided by current. So, SI unit of potential is kg meter square ampere second cube divided by and current is ampere so it means kg meter square or ampere square s minus 3 or we can write it as volt per ampere or we can write it as ohm o h m and abbreviation is volt per ampere or 
ohm now resistance SI unit is ohm. Resistance of conductor is said to be 1 ohm. If a current of 1 ampere flows through it when the potential difference across its end is 1 volt. And next physical quantity is electric power. It is a product of potential and current. SI unit of potential is volt and SI unit of current is ampere. So, it is volt into ampere. Volt into ampere or we can write it as watt. Today we have discussed all the fundamental and derived units of physical quantities which you are going to use in standard 9 and standard 10 also. Hope you have understood all these. These are important from examination point of view. You will lose one mark if you don't put correct SI unit against your numericals answer. If you like my video, keep watching, sharing and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.